In this video, I'll show you how to add a Google autocomplete address to your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site, and then we'll navigate down to this street address section. When we enter in our address, we should be able to see the Google autocomplete, okay? Okay, so we can see our address here. We can go ahead and delete this, and I'm gonna search for Okay, so this is filling out fine for my situation. So we've got the street address, we've got um, the town, postcode, county and region. Okay, but we can just go ahead and check out as normal. Okay, as you can see, it's a much more streamlined user experience and it will ultimately speed up the time it'll take the customers to ultimately complete their purchase. And to achieve all this, we'll be using the WeSuite all-in-one at checkout. So just head over to aiocheckout.com and go ahead and download this particular plugin. So it allows you to do numerous things. So you can create an optimized um, checkout layout. You can create various different um, checkout designs and it will allow you to create this Google autocomplete feature. Okay. I'll leave the link in the description below to this particular plugin. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded a WeSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin, the next step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you've just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate to activate your license key. Then from there, it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. Okay, so whilst you're on this page, we can go ahead and make sure we've got the all-in-one at checkout active. And I've got the pro version active as well. So you just want to toggle the free version and the pro version to on, okay? Okay, so now the next step is just to go ahead and navigate over to AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout. And then we'll go ahead and configure our um, Google address autocomplete feature, okay? So we'll click on settings. And then when we scroll down here, we just need to add our Google Map API key and just enable the autocomplete feature in the checkout, okay? So to get this API key, so I'll leave the article version of this video in the description below. So it'll show you all the steps and all the links that we've mentioned in this video. So you can go ahead and follow that version if you prefer. Okay, so we'll head over to Google Cloud um, Services and then we'll go ahead and get our API key, okay? Okay, so again, as I said, this particular link will be in the article that I'll reference in the description below. Okay, so from here, we just need to go ahead and create a new project, okay? So we'll just um, click add new project here. Since I've actually reached my project limit on this particular account, I won't be able to create it, okay? The steps is pretty straightforward. So if I go back, okay, so this is the article version which i mentioned okay so when you click add new project it will prompt you to enter in the project name so just enter in a project name here and any organization that you've got you can add it it's optional okay so you just click create project and then when you click create project then you'll be on this welcome screen which is here okay and then from here we just want to go ahead and click on api and services okay and then now we'll click on enable api and services Okay, and then finally, we'll click on Maps JavaScript API, and we just wanna enable this option, okay, to get our API key. Okay, so I've already got it enabled on a different um, project folder, okay, which is this one here. In your case, once you click Enable, you'll get your API key here, and then you can just go ahead and copy the API key, okay? Okay, so just copy your API key, Okay, and then next we can actually protect um, this API key, okay? So we can um, restrict it to only work um, when it's being triggered from a particular website, okay? So when you scroll down, you can click HTTP um, referrers um, here, and then you can just enter in your website address, okay? And then just click restrict key. So it will only work when it receives a query from your website, okay? And then just click restrict key. So again, we've already got our API key copied. So from here, we just wanna head back over to our dashboard, okay? And then we're just entering our API key here. And then just make sure we've enabled this option here where it says enable address autocomplete on the checkout page. So now we'll just save changes. And the next step is to create a checkout form. So we'll just click create new checkout. Since I've already got one created, I'm gonna click on this one here. 
Okay, so just a quick overview of um, what's going on here. So by default, we've got a default um, checkout section such as the billing um, details, shipping details, order summary and so on. If you wanted to add new fields, just click on this um, settings icon here and then you can drag and drop different fields onto the canvas. You can drag and drop to rearrange it as well. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below to a playlist on how to actually use this particular plugin. I'll also display a notification on screen to the playlist for this particular plugin. So assuming you want to keep all the default WooCommerce fields, you just leave everything as it is. Then we'll scroll over to where it says design. Then here we can choose our design, okay? So we can use your theme template design, okay? By selecting default template, or we can choose one of our custom um, template design, okay? So we can choose from the single column layout or a two column layout, okay? I'm gonna keep it as this single column layout. So now we'll navigate to settings. Okay, we just want to make sure we enable this checkout. Okay, and then we can just give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. For the slug, you can ignore this. It will automatically generate a slug. Okay, and then where it says applies to, we just set this to everyone. You've got the option to create multiple different um, checkouts for different user group if you choose. Okay, we can customize the checkout button text. In this case, I've just set it to complete purchase. Okay, and then finally, we just want to enable this option where it says enable address auto complete. Okay, just make sure you've got this enabled, then just hit save changes. Okay, and now when we preview our checkout, we should have the auto address feature on our checkout. So let's just navigate to our shop page. Okay, let's go ahead and purchase this particular product. Okay, so we've already got our address filled in. Let's remove these. Okay, let's try a US address. So let's say 1218. So here it's automatically um, filled in the address for us. And then we can just go ahead and complete our purchase. And that's a quick and easy way to add a autocomplete address to your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.